the old parliament with Kwame Nkrumah's uh, statue in front of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you come to this one quickly. This is Kwame Nkrumah in Ghana's first beauty pageant, Madame Monica Amekwefia. In 1957, as part of the independent celebrations, there was the Miss Ghana Beauty Pageant. In 1957? And the, absolutely. And wow. the one who won it was Madame Monica Mekwefia. And they always, always actually had their number nine, if you like, thing from her. Because her number was number nine, she was an Ewe. Oh, okay. And so number nine is not probably the thing about the ninth region on the... This is just Madame she was Mekwefia who wore the number. Out. Absolutely, she okay. was Ewe. Okay. So Ghana's first beauty pageant was an Ewe. <laughs> okay. And then this is... Uh, What's the name? The Holy Spirit, is it? Uh, this cathedral, Trinity Cathedral. Mm -hmm. That is some few minutes walk from here. This is what yeah. it looks like. You can see the beach in the background. Okay, this is a picture. This is a, a, a deeply relevant picture that was taken in 1948. Now, this is what you could call the nationalists of the Gold Coast who were, to be, to, who were made to appear before what they call the Western Committee. Mm -hmm. The Western Committee was invited into the Gold Coast in 1948 by the British Colonial Administration to actually investigate the disturbances on 28, 24 February 1948. They actually saw the death of, uh, uh, what's the name, uh, Sergeant Tajete, Corporal Tipo and all of that. And so these are the Gold Coast nationalists at the time. Mm -hmm. Those who the colonial government actually seized as being the reason why that disturbance actually happened. Okay. Now, this is JB Dankwa. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Kwame Nkrumah. Now, this is Akufuado's dad, called Edward okay. Akufuado. So this is Akufuado's uncle. Uncle, okay. and then dad. And this is Akufuado's mom. Oh, and wow. This is their